Okay, welcome back to module six. Here we're going to talk about pulse meters. So come on in, get closer. And before we jump into this, I'm gonna highlight the difference, physically speaking, on modules. If you have purchased or you're setting up a two-hose super box versus a five-hose super box. So come in a little closer. If you've got a two-hose super box, you're going to have these two modules, which is your contactor relay outputs or your pump outputs live with also uh, A and B slots, which is your pulse meters. So A and B are gonna be live along with these two slots for a two-hose super box. Five hose uh, is, you know, consequently, you're gonna have one, two, three, four, five for pumps, and then one, two, three, four, five, which is A through E uh, for pulse meters. So let's get started. So right now to my left, I've got a FMOG DEF pulse meter. We got several wires here. Uh, let's go through them. Yellow, it's gonna be power. Brown, it's gonna be ground. And we've got white and green. These are gonna be channel one or channel two. So you can use either or as signal coming in. Now, let's get back to some of these items here. So what's cool about this, as we mentioned in module five about power setups, you can always just take these things out to make it a lot easier for you guys to do your hookups. So if you go and you take a look at your, again, it's extremely critical to have this paper next to you as you're doing this so that you realize uh, and follow, I guess, where some of the connections need to go into. So for instance, if we're gonna take your ground wire, which is your brown, that needs to go in the very first slot labeled ground. So you're gonna hook it up in slot number one, which is here. Once you, you, know, once you get all these connections done, you can always put this back. So we're at number one, which is ground. Then we're gonna go four over. One, two, three, four, and that's gonna be your signal. So you can use either your white or your green wire coming into your fourth slot from the right. One, two, three, four. That's your signal coming in. Then you're gonna have your ground wire, I'm sorry, not your ground, my, my apologies, your power wire. Your power wire will be the very last slot on the left, which is slot number six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's your power wire. That's your yellow wire coming in. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six slot. Once you have all this hooked up, you can always put this back in its place, push it down, and now you have the pulse meter slot A fully connected. So now that we have our ground wire fully secured in the very first slot, we're going to move to our signal wire, which is the fourth slot from the right. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, label IMP1. Don't get it confused with IMP2. One, two, three, four is IMP1. That's where you're going to take either your, your white or your green wire as signal one or channel one and channel two into that fourth slot. The last wire pending is your yellow wire, which is your power. So that's gonna go in the sixth slot from the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, or one, two, three, four, five, six, label UB plus. That's gonna be your power, UB plus, the sixth slot all the way from the right. So now that we've had all the wires fully secured into this little module, we're gonna pop it right back in place. And you're ready to go for pulse meter A. Now, keep in mind, this is something that we'll talk about later, but if this is going to be pump mod module A, you gotta hook it up with pulse meter A. That is critical. If this is B, we're gonna hook it up with uh, pulse meter output number B. So A, A, B, B, and so forth and so on. So something else I wanna touch up on is, this next meter here is our FMOG 100 for diesel. And so you'll notice I've only got two wires, no power. 
So similar scenario, ground will go on your first lot, which is your uh, you know, label ground, number one. Your signal fourth slot, which is your IMP1. No power wire is required. So a very simple setup. All this thing can be brought in from all the available little grommets here at the bottom of the box. So whatever is convenient to you guys, just go ahead and undo one of them and run your cable in through here, make a nice clean connection onto your pulse meters.